Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, so today I uh, just want to talk about something really quick that uh, it's kind of been bothering me. And uh, something about the car that I think I need to uh, fix here is the fact that I definitely have a boost leak in the RS here. Now I did swap out the stock diverter valve with the TurboSmart 5050 blow-off valve. And uh, I noticed when I opened the box, it did come with this kind of extra part that didn't have any uh, description as to what the part was or any instructions on how to install it. Uh, later, I came to find out that that's actually a boost reference gauge for the car. Uh, and actually, that would kind of help reduce uh, my boost leak that I have. Uh, so the boost leak for the RS is actually, uh, what's happening is the car under both uh, light uh, th throttle, part throttle, uh, as well as kind of like climbing a hill and let's say a higher gear and again a low throttle, uh, you will notice that the uh, blow off valve will actually either stay open, either partially open, or it'll constantly just kind of uh, vent the atmosphere uh, once kind of like every like second. And it's kind of annoying, it does kind of uh, make some weird sound, uh, not to mention that it is kind of, you know, uh, leaking out boost from the system. So that is something I do want to fix. And uh, now I do have the part that did come with it, as I said. Um, now, why haven't I put it in yet is for two reasons. One is, if you guys don't know, I live in New York and it's extremely cold out right now. Uh, and two, I'd be lying if I said I knew how to put it in. So I do have to look up a little more diagrams and uh, look up some more installation uh, and kind of get an idea of how to exactly to put that in. I don't want to mess up the car as you can imagine. So once I figure out how to actually install the boost reference thing, I will be putting that in. And that should hopefully alleviate any of the boost leak issues I seem to be having with this 50-50 uh, blow-off valve. Now I still love the sound, I do want to keep it in there. Uh, and if I thought it was, uh, was going to harm the car at all, I would have uh, taken it off by now and until such time I could install both. Uh, so I think right now it is okay, it's just more of an annoyance. And uh, again, since I don't track the car, I'm not too worried about uh, the, you know, the boost leak. And it doesn't happen all the time. But I'll try to throw some clips in here of what it sounds like so you guys get an idea of what I'm talking about. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear that. Yeah, it's definitely venting when I'm not, when I don't want it to, I'm not trying to. Uh, that is under, you know, part throttle. Uh, it seems to be fine under full throttle, so I'm not incredibly worried about it. But again, it is something that's kind of annoying, and it is releasing boost from the system. So, as always, guys, thank you again for checking out the channel. And uh, hit that thumbs up button if you guys like this video. And uh, please consider subscribing, man. All you gotta do is hit that button down below. I do appreciate it. And I'll keep you guys in the loop for all my new videos coming up. Uh, I got a lot of stuff going on for 2018. And uh, I'll give you guys a little teaser. I am doing a little meetup with a gentleman named Elias. Uh, you guys will know him as Mr. Flying Gato. And uh, we're gonna meet up with him on uh, Tuesday of next week. We're gonna do a little car review, do a little collab. And uh, it should be a fun time, man. He's, uh, he's a really cool guy and uh, he's really into cars and uh, so it's always nice being with some like-minded people so uh, yeah so again uh, I appreciate your time guys and we'll see you at the next one all right bye